Welcome back to an episode of SJ Fishing. Today, we've got a special treat. I bought two fishing reels off of Wish. One bait caster and one spinning reel. Both of them combined cost less than $30. So today, we're going to try them out and see if we can't make them work half decently or see if they don't work at all, see if they break. We'll see what happens. But stay tuned. We're going to get them rigged up. I'm going to throw some line on them and... See how it goes. One eternity later. All right, these are the reels. This is the spinning reel. It advertised as totally carbon fiber, but you can obviously tell by the weight. I mean, I know you can't feel it, but I can feel it and I can tell that it's not carbon fiber. Plus it was $14. And this is the bait caster. It's a little bit bulkier than normal bait casters, but it actually feels decent. And it doesn't feel bad. The rods that I have them rigged up on, these are both H2O rods, which are the Academy brand rods, but they were both on clearance. I got this one for $5, I want to say, and this one, I got it for like $10. So the total setups on these, the reel right here was $15. The rod was $10. So like a $25 baitcaster setup. And then I've got cheap stern line that I'm putting on them. I think it's like 699 for 330 yards that I'm, I don't think I'm going to use the full spool. So it's less than $30 a piece is what they're going to be. This one advertised as 11 plus one ball bearings. This says it on the side. It is 12 plus one ball bearings right there, but don't have much faith. I'm sure the spinning reel is going to work, but I'm curious about the bait cast. I mean, it's got the magnetic brakes on the side. You can adjust just like any other real wood. And I've got two a little more expensive rod. I got that, the spinning reel, it's a Daiwa. And then I've got a loose baitcaster over there that I'm gonna try in comparison to the two. So I'm gonna put some line on them and we're gonna see exactly how they work. You know, I, I realize as I'm spooling this thing up, I've bought the $250 DC reel. I've got the baitcaster I brought with me is an $80 lose. And I've bought cheap and expensive reels. And a lot of times the, the cheap reels don't not perform very well. I mean, they do pretty good. So, I mean, I have a lot of faith in this thing. But what if it does do good? Do we start buying more reels off of wish like i mean because shimano's they get up there in the hundreds of dollars and then i mean the bentanium dc is like 500 bucks i mean yeah the dc is different but like even just the like a sitica that doesn't have that dc technology i mean do you buy this over that i mean this doesn't look bad at all besides the ginormous made in china sticker right there i mean it looks good I mean, it took, I don't know, a month or so to come in. It wasn't exactly a very quick shipping process, but if it works, I mean, are we going to hold shipping against them? I mean, this coming from, literally coming from China. So, I don't know. I think I got it spooled up enough to see. So, I reckon we're going to have to see. So I'm spooling this spinning reel up and I realize that this handle is absolutely ginormous. Like, look at that thing. I've never seen a reel that wasn't, you know, offshore that had a handle this big. I mean, this is supposed to be a, a 2000 size reel, but I'm sure you can take and uh, change the handle out. I mean, I know on a lot of other Reels you can. You can buy handles at Academy, Bass Pro Shops, Cabela's, places like that. But, I mean, it, maybe it is a 2000 because it didn't hold a whole bunch of line. I mean, it's it's almost full. It actually says, I don't know what 200 meters is, but, or, no, is that millimeters? Yeah, no, it's, no, it's meters. All right, different day, obviously. Uh, wearing different clothes, but the GoPro footage on from the last video 
kind of crapped out on me so we're gonna pick up on the wish video again today and we're gonna try to catch a couple fish on each one I caught fish on them last time and I got them all set up but I want to try and get it done again today that way I can show you guys and that way you can see the results and the different abilities of each different reel all right we're gonna start with the bait caster and uh, I'm gonna show you the first cast just so you can see how it casts I have the brakes on this thing set all the way up all the way and then spool tension is pretty tight and I don't think it should backlash with this but we're gonna see get this oh wait no backlash I think it's gonna be good all right as you can see uh, how soaking wet I am that today the video is not happening so we're gonna come back tomorrow try it again and I'll see you then It does like right in here. Matthew, got a fish. I got a tiny fish. Got a very, very little guy. I mean, this thing was just hatched, but I did catch it on the wish reel. So we're gonna call the wish reel challenge done. I mean, this guy's tiny. How old do you think he is? I mean, he's small, he's young. I mean, little guy here. I barely put my thumb in his mouth. I see little guy. He's got something in there that he was eating. All right, little guy. See you later. Close.
All right, final opinions on the reels. This is the spinning reel. Absolutely love this reel, honestly. Like, it's not as high quality as some of the other ones. You know, you go get, you know, a Shimano spinning reel for 120 bucks. You know, it's not gonna be the same quality, but as far as build and durability and, you know, just casting and every other factor that plays into it, it's actually not that bad. Like, I actually like the reel. You know, it's for 14, 15 bucks, whatever it was, something like that. And I mean, it took forever to come in, but that was, I mean, no big deal, really. But I would actually recommend a spinning reel off of Wish. You know, it's not that bad. And, you know, I would go pick one up for as little as they cost. As far as the baitcaster goes, it's not bad. But if you're used to something else, like if you're fishing with this for the first time after you've used, you know, couple hundred dollar reels hundred dollar reels you know it's gonna be a learning curve it kind of feels like you're buying like an Abu Garcia Black Max like the low-end version if they made one but uh I mean if you're just getting into it and you don't want to spend a bunch of money I mean granted the rod didn't come from wish but I got this at Academy for 10 bucks on clearance and they all the time have clearance stuff the reel was 16 bucks like three dollars shipping you know and it took a long time to come in but if you're just wanting to get into it I mean, I would say go for it. You know, just kind of get you learning. And that way, when you do get a newer bait caster that's better, you don't have as much of a learning curve. You know, you kind of already know what to expect. And with something like this, you can only go up. There's no going down from this. You can only go up in quality. And actually, you know, like I said, for starters, I would recommend. say thanks for watching the video absolutely loved making this video it was you know a long time coming and only took three days to film it but as far as making it absolutely love doing it if you want to see more wish fishing gear or just anything else wish related comment down below but i'm actually going to give one of these away so all you have to do is go follow me on instagram and like and comment on the video and make sure you're subscribed and if i dm you and you've won Tell me whether you want the spinning reel or the baitcaster, and I'll give you one. Just give me your address, and I'll send you rod included. So uh, thanks for watching the video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you next time.